everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's Dak Prescott's Cowboys going up against Breeze's Saints. All right, Larry, thank you. We are down on the bayou as you get a look inside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. This is what it looked like just a moment ago in the heart of New Orleans. Folks, there's no place for this noise to go in the Superdome. It is loud, and these fans are ready for football as their Saints get ready to do battle with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world on HBO pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen, from Mandalay Bay, Vegas. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Get off my... of six. Now flags will come in. Ooh, I think this gotcha. Be on the defense for jumping. About three five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game. And they reacted poorly on that one. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. They go play action for Ingram. Now Breeze. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Yo, turn your fucking sound down or something. Physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. Fucking... Contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. All I can hear is fucking echo. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. Okay. Pressure gets there this time for the Your second. connection fucking Jalen sucks, you fucking nigger. In there to get him for a loss of nine, and that'll lead to fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. And I know you can fucking hear me. Because I can hear my fucking echo. Taken from just outside the 30. Turn there of 22 yards. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. How do I mute you? Fucking annoying ass. In motion here is Witten. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's brought down. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only they're controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Hey, 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 hey. 
They keep on the ground with Allen. And he'll get down to about the 26-yard line. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And they'll send Williams in motion right. On second down, Elliott. And some room to maneuver. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, 26 yards. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker plugging the rock. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. Now it's Nugent out to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. So another drive coming up for the New Orleans Saints offense. And earlier we discussed the game that Drew Brees had in that come-from-behind win. But they're still running the ball effectively with that two-headed monster, aren't they? Yeah, Mark Ingram, Alvin Kamara, they combined for 271 total yards, two touchdowns. How about Kamara's big touchdown catch, bobbled. Hmm. And then they had to go for two to tie the game. Otherwise, we don't get to overtime. Really nice play call by, by the head coach, Sean Payton. That fake one way, flip it to the backside, and Kamara outran everyone to the pylon. Brandon Coleman was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. And the former Heisman winner, this is Mark Ingram. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Well, usually you don't think of the cornerback coming in for a no gain play, but that's what we had there. Nice tackle. Yeah, and how about the range, too? Coming from the outside part of the play, moving his way into the inside and making that play happen. No gain for the offense. Big play for the defense. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. 23 yards on the play. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Breeze now on first down. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. No, I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Breeze will try again on second down. Looking for his tight end fleeter, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Sean Lee. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. 
Offensively, when you see cover two, the thought has to go through the quarterback's head. Drive the football when making throws. It's not just the deep guys covering. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of. Drive your throw. Otherwise, you see what results? Interceptions. In motion here is Witten. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They've got a second and nine to start things out. Take the hit, and in this case, lose the football. So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you've got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Second down, here's Breeze. Left side and caught by Flaner. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. A good pick up there, a 22. Throwing on first down is Breeze. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Michael Thomas, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Will Lutz. Get off my lawn. E it's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. They start on the ground with Elliott. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Is that all you can do is run with Elliott, you little punk bitch? With a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on You're schedule, staying ahead up that of the sticks, again. whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. You shouldn't even have Elliott. Fucking guy suspended. A second down throw for Prescott. Oh, he dropped it. Incomplete there. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them, they've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep the offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. 
Third and short yardage. Prescott. And Bryant's got it over the middle. And he's able to get out to the 32. Brought down there. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. for a loss of six. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. This is Ingram on first and ten. And some space here. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown. Six yards, and the Saints have taken the lead. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments, let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking, beats good tackling on that play, and result, touchdown. Stead, the punter, out to kick it off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Now a hit and a loose football. And I think he was able to get back on it. He was. So they will get the ball after all, but that could have been a disaster. I didn't do this in college, but I did it in high school. When you return kicks <laughs> and you lose it yourself, the panic that goes through you and the determination to get the ball back, I don't even know how to describe it. And I think we just saw an example there. Yeah, and the relief when you get it back <laughs> like he did. Yeah, you go to the sidelines, you know you're going to get yelled at, but you can handle it because you got the ball back. Halfback sent in motion. First down throw for Prescott. Flushed out right. And he's got room. And he is out of bounds, getting it just shy of the 35. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. Prescott looks to throw on first. Finds his target, Terrence Williams. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. Give him 30 yards there. First down now, but that clock rolling. And they'll put Bryant in motion left. Now the backup, Darren McFadden. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. Right, right, right. 
Second down, Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Bryant. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. and goal at the three-yard line now. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. In motion left, the tight end. Now Elliott. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. The extra point coming now for Nugent. Now we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. On first down, Breeze. His throw is going to be incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And it's second down. Well, hey, let's shift gears for a second. Did you see Dre Kirkpatrick's 100-yard interception return not for a touchdown last week? It doesn't make sense, does it? I mean, it's a 100-yard field. How does he get 100 yards <laughs> and not score? What happened? Picked it off in the end zone. Couldn't take it all the way back to the other end zone. By the way, that 100-yard interception without it being a touchdown, longest in NFL history to not score. But, but they did eventually score. They right? did. Didn't he fumble somewhere along the way? Yeah. Picked up his own fumble, gets to about the one. <laughs> they end up scoring. It happened in Denver. So I'm just going to tell you. Oh, I know where you're going. The altitude the got The altitude, the altitude got, got, to got him. <laughs> oh, poor Dre Kirkpatrick. Great return, though. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. And a timeout here. Timeout taken. Whistles blown. Timeout taken by the receiving team. 